Hello, I'm Jane Dutton with the wrap of the week's news. It has been dominated by the inauguration and sardines, a fishy phenomenon that happens once a year and attracts thousands of people and sharks and gannets. That's the sardine run, of course, millions of them in a spectacle off our coast. The other big thing was South Africa's president-elect Cyril Ramaphosa being sworn into office for a second time. I, Matamera Cyril Ramaphosa, swear that I will be faithful to the Republic of South Africa and will obey, observe, uphold and maintain the Constitution and all other law of the Republic. This is Eyewitness News. The newly minted president kicked off his second term with a dose of honesty and optimism as he delivered his inaugural speech. The people of South Africa have stressed that they are impatient with political bickery and the endless blame game amongst politicians and political parties. They want us to put their needs and aspirations first, and they want us to work together for the sake of our country. Today, I stand before you as your humble servant to say that we have heard you. As the President of the Republic of South Africa, I will work with everyone to reach out and work with every political party and sector that is willing to contribute to finding solutions to the challenges our country faces as we transition. Many dignitaries, including several African heads of states, were there. As we welcome His Excellency Thabo Mvunyelwambeki, our former president, of the Republic of South Africa and her spouse, Sizanele Mbeki. So now it's down to business for the Government of National Unity, which comprises five political parties, the ANC, DA, IFP, PA and GUD. The Economic Freedom Fighters and the Omkonto Wesizwe Party were nowhere to be seen after boycotting the inauguration. Jacob Zuma's Mkonto Wesizwe party has pulled another jaw-dropping move. Impeached Western Cape Judge President John Schlopper becomes the leader for the party in Parliament, the chief whip. Remember, he was removed from office after being found guilty of attempting to influence two justices of the Constitutional Court to violate their oaths of office. In favour of Jacob Zuma. Judge Schlopper has been... Uh and will be our party leader, not chief whip. He'll be effectively the leader of the opposition. Um, after the first sitting, normally you can change, uh, you know, members of uh, your party and uh, instill any other you know, members of your party that will represent you in parliament. And we have done exactly that. We've communicated with the parliamentary secretary and such is the case. That's when Shop is going to be the party leader. The EFF leader, Judas Malema was protesting his innocence alongside security official Adrian Sneeman in their firearm discharge trial in the East London Magistrates' Court. He concluded his testimony, bringing the leading of evidence to a close. Malema and Sneeman are accused of various charges linked to his alleged firing of live ammunition on stage at a 2022 rally in Mdansani. The parties will now move to prepare their closing arguments. Malema, who maintains the weapon was in fact a toy gun, insisted his prosecution was politically motivated on the stand. This, I repeat your worship, it was a campaign by the Afri Forum. We are where we are because the NPA, without any material evidence, succumbed to the pressure of the Afri Forum. Kill. Kill all the. That's all I've got. 
say, kill all the kill all the From that racist rant to a suspension and now facing court action. The Human Rights Commission is taking DA Member of Parliament, Ronaldo Host, to court over racist comments he made in a video. A second video clip recently emerged showing Host using the K-word and calling for black South Africans to be killed. Host recorded that video in March 2010. Following assessment of the content, the commission has concluded that utterances allegedly made by Mr. House constitute hate speech and or harassment as contemplated in terms of Section 10 and 11 of the Promotion of Equality and the Prevention of Unfair Discrimination Act. So he is banned from taking part in any party processes or events or anything of that nature. And the Federal Legal Commission, as I said, will start its worker panel, will be constituted, and there will be a hearing, and it will start as soon as we possibly can put that together. Hose, who was recently sworn in as a member of parliament, trended on social media earlier this week over a video he made in 2009 where he claimed white South Africans are subjected to reverse apartheid. And we'll leave you with pictures of President Ramaphosa's inauguration earlier this week. Eyewitness News, in touch, in tune, and independent. For the latest, log on to ewn.co.za or ewn.mobi.